Hi everyone, welcome to week two of virtual learning. Congratulations on completing your first week of high school, yay! Um, I actually am really proud of all of you. Uh, we learned a lot last week with the technology, uh, how to use everything that we're gonna be using for virtual learning. If you have any questions about anything, um, you can always go back to that onboarding course or feel free to ask your mentor or me about any uh, virtual learning questions. We're here for you. You will see on your screen here, we are moving on into actual English work today. So every day I will have a screen like this to start the video. It will say the date, our I can statement, and our agenda or our to-do list, to list for today. Um, and I'm going to post this in the Schoology, and this will be for anyone who maybe misses the Google Meet that day, or you want to get it done, or take a look at what we're doing at least ahead of time, before class time, or maybe you're just someone who likes to be able to pause and play and do things step by step. So that's what this video will help you do. And I'm just going to go through each of these things that are on our to-do list for today. So first of all, our I can statement says, I can make connections to personal experiences, ideas in other texts and society. This is really important as we're reading, right? We make connections to the world. Maybe you read something and it reminds you of another text you read, or you're like, this really feels and sounds like how society is today. So we're gonna start talking about those connections that we make. In order to accomplish that today, here's our to-do list. We have a discussion board question about reading strategies, and this is all within Schoology. So you will have the discussion board. Then you have a little learning activity on building background as you read texts. And then lastly, you will practice making connections with the texts. So that's our I can statement and what we're going to do today. So our work for today will be in Schoology. Um, as you know, you would go to your class link, click on the Schoology tile, and that would take you to your Schoology page. Uh, you would go to English, it's called English 1A. And then here you'll see uh, my folder from Friday, and then we have a folder for week two. Uh, notice how it says unpublished because I'm recording this video ahead of time, but on your screen in your Schoology course, each of these days will become available on that day. So on Monday, August 24th, you will have this folder that will be available to you. So go to the day one folder. You will click on the discuss. It says, think about a time when you were reading a challenging text. In the discussion board, describe a strategy you have used while reading that helped you comprehend a challenging text. Explain why that might be helpful for others to use too. And when you see these words, describe, explain, um, they're all capital for a reason. I want you to think about when you explain something to your friend, right? You're gonna give them details, you will give them multiple sentences, right? Longer descriptions. So when you see words like describe and explain, that means you are going to be answering in multiple sentences. So one word or even one sentence would not be sufficient to answer this question. I would say at least two or three sentences. So once you've completed this discussion board, uh, written a comment, then the other comments will post right below and you can read each other's and hopefully get some good reading strategies from one another. After you do that, you would be clicking on the Learn Building Background task. This one says, one reading strategy you can use before, during, or after reading a text is to make personal connections to the ideas from a text. In order to make connections, you have to understand the context or the background of the ideas in the text. This week, you will read an informational text called With Friends Like These, that's a typo, sorry, that discusses the realities of friends and friendships. Consider these two allusions or references in the text to other ideas. And if you don't know what an allusion is, I'm going to ask that you look that up right now, open a new tab, copy and paste this or type allusion 
into your search bar. So then it lists two allusions here. It says, think about what these two allusions are saying about the reality of friends and friendships. Then choose one to explain in the discussion board what you think it means. Be sure to include which illusion you are explaining. So just put a one or a two at the beginning so I know are you talking about number one or number two. And then explain in a couple sentences what you think this is trying to say. After you've done that, then you would go to practice, making connections. It says, now that you have some context or background of the ideas in the text, let's make personal connections. Think about a TV show, movie, or song where a friend ended up being more like an enemy or where a friendship had some struggles. Write a brief paragraph, so three to five complete sentences with periods, describing the friendship you're talking about, thinking about. Submit your written response on the attached assignment. If you would prefer to respond orally, so that means out loud, to the assignment, then use the Flipgrid link to record a video. After, copy and paste your Flipgrid into the attached assignment and submit. Now, Flipgrid is something we will be using in class plenty. Uh, it is where you record yourself so that you can answer out loud and get those speaking points rather than just writing points. I will make another video that I'll put in this folder um, that will explain how to work Flipgrid. So if you're more comfortable speaking, you can go ahead and upload a Flipgrid video or submit your written response of three to five sentences in this submission here. And that will complete day one. Again, uh, my idea with this video is that you are pausing, right? Oh, okay, I explained the discussion part, pause, then you would complete that. Then play the video, I'll explain the next part, pause it and complete that. So hopefully this is a good tool for you and this video helps you complete day one of week two of virtual learning. I will still be in the Google Meet the entire class period, so please come into the Google Meet when class begins and I will see you then. Have a fabulous day.